In the name of Jesus, amen. Today we're going to be talking about God's amazing word. We just heard the parables of the seed that was planted and also the mustard seed as pictures of the kingdom of God. God is giving us insight into his mind and his amazing word and what he can accomplish uh, through his power in our lives. And as you picture this uh, timeline of planting and waiting for a harvest when, when God's timing is right, it can certainly be one of those challenging timelines for us in our lives. We want God to alter his timeline to, to fit our own. And that makes me think certainly about our experience of being here on island. And you may see shirts like this around, like it says, I'm not late, I'm on Hawaiian time, right? Or uh, maybe a, a placard like this in somebody's window where it seems like uh, getting the shop open and closed, it's not really a, a time thing necessarily. It'll happen sometime and, and it'll just be on Hawaiian time. You just have to take it easy and, and go with the flow. I thought a lot about that, you know, being on island and, and uh, certainly a change in my life and lifestyle and uh, climate and just getting used to, to so many things that are, are different than, than the way I grew up. I thought about that a lot. In fact, I've taken a lot of time wondering about this. Maybe I've been getting on Hawaiian time by doing that. It makes me wonder where that mindset comes from, this tropical mindset of uh, this warm warm season, either a little rainy and or not rainy, uh, warm, especially the kind of warm that calls you to turn on your air conditioner or to take a nap in the afternoon. It's a, it's a warm culture, a slow culture, a tropical culture that asks you to slow down a little bit. And I think part of that, you know, I was thinking about this while I was on the train, and, and since there's only two trains in Oahu, you can probably guess uh, which one. I'll let it slip, but uh, I was at the on the Dole Pineapple train, and, you know, that's just a round trip, but as they're talking and showing the different fields about uh, the planting and harvesting of pineapple, you know, that takes patience. It takes time. You just got to sit back. You got to relax, because when you put a pineapple in the ground, it's going to take a while. In fact, uh, when we had our first couple of pineapples in uh, our new house in Makakilo about uh, six, seven years ago, I guess it's almost eight years ago now, we were so excited because we could take that top off and plant it in the ground, and we are excited about planting and getting our own pineapples, but uh, soon we looked it up uh, and figured out how long it was going to take. Two years before we get that pineapple. Well, that just takes patience. It gives a little insight into that mindset of Hawaiian time. I was on the big, uh, the big I was on the Maui with uh, the seventh graders, and we were on the sugar uh, museum. And the amount of time it takes just to even get, uh, wow, even to get sugar cane, a couple of years to mature. You know, that tells me a little bit maybe that there's something about Hawaiian time that has to do with what even has been grown here and how long it takes to, to have some of that fruit. And that helps me to picture a little bit of what it means to be on God's time. You know, maybe we should change that shirt that says, He's not late, or God's not late. He's on His time, you know? And we want to so often change His time to our time, but God's time is, is exactly the right time. It points out in the parable of the seed that when the harvest is ready, God is immediately there. He's ready to harvest. He's going to make sure that He sees that through. When we had uh, our VBS this last couple of weeks, we, uh, we had this uh, time when uh, the kids got to do one of the crafts that maybe had a little trouble with because it was basically a little cup. Uh, they put a seed into it, and then they waited, and that was the craft. You know, they, they would have had to say, well, this is going to become something great down the road, and whatever that's going to be, they had to have a little faith to say, this craft is one we get to see the results of later on in life. Just like a little video showed there, some sprouts coming up in a uh, long, uh, long overtime uh, camera that they uh, showed these seeds coming up. It would have been those kids, too, thinking, wow, is this really going to be anything great? Because putting a seed in the ground doesn't seem like much at the time. But my daughter's gotten a lot of joy out of watching her plant come out of this uh, little pot. And she's even named it a Benjamin. So I think that that craft came together as one of those gifts that is given after VBS is over. So God, God's timing certainly has one of those big views or long views of, of time that maybe we lose track of so often. You know, God's view of time is that he's going to put a seed in the soil and that by its, by its power, the power that's given to that seed, and then the way that God's talking about it is that God's power in our lives is going to do its work. 
I got a hold of one of these seeds that we were at the uh, zip lines over in uh, Maui. And this is actually a eucalyptus seed. Uh, it's a great seed because it has this cross picture image in it. And I, I just thought it was so awesome because when it comes to the way that God plants, when he's planting a seed, and especially when we talk about his word, it's costly. It's expensive. It it means that God becomes man and becomes part of our us, part of his creation, and comes into the world uh, to be with us. And that when you plant that seed, it means that you're going to be uh, putting a, a big uh, effort and, and cost into making that seed uh, a part of our lives. In this case, it meant that Jesus Christ went to the cross uh, to die for us. And that is a great cost um, of even God's life for the sake of giving us life. And that's not all God has in mind. He certainly wants to plant that seed. He, he puts his power into it. It doesn't matter what we do. It's not like we add power to it. But the power to change, the power to grow, is, comes from God. And in Jesus Christ, and that dying on the cross, he's giving new life to the world. You know, like this eucalyptus seed that, that reflected that. But that's only the beginning for God. He certainly wants to plant that seed in soil so it'll sprout. God has that picture of that sprout certainly coming up from the ground and growing, but not just to be a small plant, uh, even the kind of plants that they were planting at VBS, but he has a big picture in mind and certainly a picture that is often so far beyond the kind of picture we have in our lives. Here's a picture, I think, of what God has in mind. One of the biggest eucalyptus trees down at the Botanical Gardens in Mahiwa. One of my favorite trees, too. This is a painted eucalyptus. Uh, not the same uh, seed uh, that, that I showed you before, but uh, the eucalyptus family. And God is growing a tree. That's the kind of picture that God has for us. He's not just planting a little seed for a little time in our lives. God's word has a long view in mind. He's, he's going to plant that seed to grow into a tree. If you could imagine just uh, having, like after church day, coming right outside here in the, uh, in the little green area outside the lanai, what if uh, we had a tree planting ceremony? And we were not talking about how this tree is going to be a blessing to us, but how the tree is going to provide shade for three or four generations from now. You know, taking that picture of what God has in mind for us, that it's going to be a shade for people that are not even here yet, and, and not a benefit to us. I mean, people think that kind of crazy, you know. Hey, you need a two- or three-year plan, you need a five-year plan, maybe a ten-year plan. But, you know, Pastor, you're talking about a hundred-year plan, and that... This sounds a little crazy, but God has a picture so much bigger than us. God has that long-term view of what our lives can be. And that means not just what our life is here on earth and even into eternity, but also how that's going to affect generations to come. So when we have that picture, we certainly want to remember that for our, our fathers today, that there is that short-term picture that God has at the cost of what it means to, to be a part of our lives. And that was the cost that Jesus Christ spent as well um, in his death on the cross. But being a father has a great cost to it as well. We can sometimes get caught up in just that little short-term view of life where we think about our behavior in a particular situation or maybe how we could have done it better with our child. and Maybe our reaction to one of the challenging situations in their life we could have done better. And maybe we could focus in on that short-term uh, time and our temperament and, and our responses and just get stuck in the short term. But God has the long term in mind, and, and God, uh, through fathers, intends to plant that seed in, in their children as a Heavenly Father, who's all of our Father, and also through the fathers that He gives into families as well, to have that long term view of planting that seed of God's Word in them, to give a godly built hope that goes beyond just our lives, goes beyond even our child's life, and into the life that the children they will have and their children. God has that long-term picture of a tree that's developing uh, through their lives. God is eternally minded, and we can certainly lose that uh, picture in our own life. But God has that picture in mind uh, for us, and not just for us, but for the people that are touched through us. It's something we don't maybe think about in the power of that seed and the power of that gift of life and change and growth that has that big picture in mind of heaven is that we have to plant that seed. We God is depending on us. He's, he's waiting on us. He's asking us to use our, our, our will in response to the Holy Spirit's work to, to plant that seed. And God has the end in mind that that's going to be a gift that can be given to eternity, but 
we plant it. We respond to God's uh, call and plant that, that seed in, in people's lives. Even though God can see beyond that simple gift of sharing the word, God sees deeper. He sees beyond that. And we may get stuck in our own lives and the struggles of our day, and we may wonder what his word and his promise means. God has a picture that leads all the way to eternity for us and for those who receive his word in our lives, through our lives, and all the way down through generations to come. We thank God for his eternally minded a gift of, of eternity that's given to us. And we thank God that, that he has in mind for us the best that grows up to eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.